What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing another Manchester City transfer update. We're rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout all of the winter January transfer window. So if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with the latest Manchester City transfer news first and fast every single day, then do make sure you have subscribed press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. Now less than 300 subscribers away from my goal of 22,000 subscribers. I want to hit that by the end of January, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video once more, aiming for 300 likes. And also don't forget to let let me know your thoughts in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers. Without further ado though, let's crack on with this video. We're going to start off with the outs and it's another day and another conflicting story on Patrick Roberts. Sky Sports News, they're continuing with their stance that Patrick Roberts will join Sunderland on loan until the end of the season. That's despite just a couple of days ago having previous reports saying that Wigan Athletic had overtaken Sunderland in the race to sign Patrick Roberts. Very interesting though. Sky Sports do add on to the article saying that Manchester City are now in the process of cancelling Patrick Roberts' loan at the uh, Troy, who are part of the CFG, part of the City Football Group, which of course Manchester City are also a part of as well. So I'll keep my eyes open with what happens with regards to Patrick Roberts. It isn't very very clear but we do have something that is pretty clear and that takes us on to Tommy Doyle it's confirmed he has been recalled by Manchester City from his loan at Hamburg over in Germany and he has now joined Cardiff City in the championship on loan until the end of the season so I wanted to wish the very best of luck to Tommy Doyle on his loan move to Wales and I do hope he has a great time there and he goes and smashes it championship very competitive if he's getting more minutes uh, and he can prosper and excel and show just what he's capable of then I think this will be a great low move for him so wishing him the very best of luck now moving on to another confirmed transfer takes us on to Oscar Terenzi who has joined Girona very interesting he's joined Girona B side rather than Girona over in Spain who of course were also part of the CFG uh, but Terenzi joins on loan until the end of the season this is according to Ivan Quiros a journalist close to Girona uh, I would say I'd be waiting for official confirmation but if he's joined the B uh, side it, one of these transfers that he'd just turn up at training and he's there and that's that pretty much. So I wanted to say the very best of luck there to Oscar on the move. And I do hope that he does very well as well. Now moving on to the final story of the outs takes us on to James McAtee. Hmm, interesting. Now, Ian Mitchellmore of Wales Online says that Swansea City, they remain interested in signing James McAtee on loan from Manchester City until the end of the season. I'm not entirely clear on Manchester City's stance with James McAtee. And I am just wondering if City could well let James McAtee head out on loan uh, during this window until the end of the season. With us having more and more first team players returning back to the Manchester City squad and the Premier League set to change their protocol on COVID regulations here in the UK as well and the Plan B restrictions being taken away. I imagine the Premier League are going to stop being so lenient towards postponement of games um, and they're also set to, uh, I'm not too sure when but they are going to end the isolation period here in the UK on if you test positive for COVID and if that is the case they're just basically a free-for-all um, then that means players aren't going to be able to isolate and you're going to have access to players regardless of if they have COVID or not um, and so if that is the case then Manchester City may choose uh, to loan out James McAtee because we're always going to have access to a player unless they're injured rather than if they're injured or have COVID. So I'm wondering if we're going to, if we do go down that line, City may contemplate loaning out James McAtee. And I would imagine that if he is to be loaned out by Manchester City, then it more than likely probably would be to the Championship as well. 
which is why Swansea City, of course, are interested in McAtee. So Tommy Doyle may not be the only player this month heading to Wales on loan from Manchester City. James McAtee may well be another player for me to keep my eyes and ears open for. Now, moving on to the ends, we've just got one update for today. Comes on Decky Rice, Declan Rice. Now, Football London, they say that West Ham, they're fully aware of the interest in Declan Rice for the summer. So they've set their asking price. It is at a whopping one hundred million pounds plus put the plus in there because that's very important it means they're asking for over 100 million pounds to sign Declan Rice now if Manchester City were in a desperate need of signing a defensive midfielder and we were looking for a homegrown player then I would say that maybe Man City might just go out there and do this we did it for Jack Grealish we could well do it for Declan Rice as well. However, I do not for one minute think Manchester City will sign Declan Rice, and that's all about the price. Manchester City will need another holding midfielder who's going to provide competitive competition for Rodri and potentially other midfielders at the club as well. If you're looking for a rotated player, I mean, Rodri's just so good that we need a rotated player. Not a player that's going to come into the first 11 and change things up for Manchester City. We need someone that's going to provide competitive competition for the rest of the squad. We're not going to spend a hundred plus million pounds to bring a player in that's going to do that job because that's just a ridiculous amount of money to pay for somebody who isn't going to be going into the first team squad all that regularly. And if that is the case, as I said in my video a couple of days ago when I was speaking about Declan Rice, Manchester City, they need to be having a look at younger, upcoming prospects or players who are nearing the end uh, either of their contracts or players who are nearing in the, the end uh, parts of their career where you can bring a player in that's going to be able to compete in the squad for the next two or three seasons. Like I said, we're looking for a rotated player. doesn't need to be anything extravagant. It needs to be someone we can either mould or somebody that is capable of adapting who isn't going to cost us a lot of money because we're looking at a goal scorer. We're looking at a striker for the summer and that's going to be a very expensive transfer and because of that I just don't see Manchester City doing two very expensive transfers in one summer transfer window so with this news of Declan Rice unless that price does come down uh, I can see Manchester City simply walking away from this I'm not too sure I see Chelsea or Manchester United paying so much for Declan Rice maybe if you said to me 70 or 80 million pounds if he was an attacker, I'd, I probably would say, yeah, probably looking at, what, 80, 90, even up to 100 million pounds. I do feel like City have set the precedent with Jack Grealish of spending so much money on players that are in and around the England squad that are doing really well for their uh, domestic club as well, that we set the precedent of the amount that they're looking for. And I feel like West Ham are using that um, price that what uh, City had paid for Jack Grealish to be able to set the price of what they're looking for for Declan Rice, which they have every intention of doing so. It's all about does Declan Rice want to leave West Ham? And if he does, would West Ham negotiate on that? Uh, and I'm not entirely sure that they would. But in terms of Manchester City, I just don't see us uh, pursuing Declan Rice. But would love to know your thoughts of that in the comments below. So there we go. That has been the transfer update for today. Make sure you've subscribed. Press that red button. Press the bell and put your push notifications on because you want to be notified immediately for when I do upload with all the latest Manchester City transfer news this winter. We'll be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates, not just this winter, but for the summer transfer window as well. So if you want to stay up to date first and fast with the latest Manchester City transfer news on YouTube, then do make sure you have subscribed to my channel. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on 22,000 subscribers is the aim we're less than 300 subs away i want to hit that by the end of january so any help towards that would be much appreciated by me also don't forget as well to leave your thoughts in the comments below of what you made of these transfers leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video 300 likes once more is the like goal and lastly my social media links they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram and my email is also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries and i'll see you all again very soon for the next Manchester City video. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.